Good morning, everybody. Lone Wolf Rick here. And it is 8 a.m. here on this Monday morning, uh, July the 10th, here on the Las Vegas Strip. So I'm out and about, roaming around, doing my vlog. Just showing you around a little bit. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Eighty-five degrees right now here in Las Vegas. Looking for a high of one hundred and seven today. A cool one hundred and seven. Now you're going to ask, it's like, how can one hundred seven degrees be cool? Well, this weekend, this coming weekend, projected the projected high for this weekend. 117 degrees 117 degrees can you believe that so we'll see if it gets there I'm sure it'll be close to it anyway as we get to the middle of July and summer in full force Take a look across the way at the Aria. They kind of on the side there that you can't see. Black Venice buildings or the Vidara. They had uh, interesting, uh, interesting problems yesterday as the elevators went out on both properties. They had uh, over at the Vidara. They had 14 total elevators just shut down on them. 14 total and at the Aria they had 12 elevators shut down uh, they don't know they don't know the reason why I mean to me it sounds like somebody hacked into them but uh, uh, there were some people trapped on the elevators for a little while uh, some elevators were okay it's like a thing it's like uh, but a total between the two properties 26 elevators shut down so a little bit, uh, a little bit frightening, I guess, for the people that uh, maybe got stuck in the elevators. Take a look across the way there, over at the uh, the Hawaii Marketplace used to be. And soon to be the uh, the boulevard. See uh, work going on in there. They're just kind of leveling the land right now. They're looking at an opening sometime in the fall of 2024. It's a projected uh, projected opening date for that. And then right next to that, over to the left, that'll be the uh, Tilba Fertitta, who owns uh, everything. Now, he owns uh, Golden Nugget Properties, owns uh, tons of restaurants, but uh, you see the work going on over there. If you're picking up any wind in the microphone, I apologize for that. It's like they're expecting today maybe winds gusting up to 40, 45 miles per hour. Heat furnace. 107 degrees and 40 miles per hour uh, winds. We have like a red flag warning going on. So the temperatures get to, uh, you know, to this level, and there's really no humidity. I think humidity today is supposed to be between five and ten percent. And to say the uh, heat gets up there, chance for uh, fires. So they're asking everybody to be extremely cautious. 
I'm gonna pause just for a second here. All right, sorry for that pause, but uh, I just wanted to uh, not pick up that music and have to scrub all the audio. It's like, uh, you know, for that period of time. Take a look at uh, the road construction. It's still going on, but uh, I can't say they're about to wrap it up, but uh, they are making progress on it. See, no other shops have moved into, uh, into this mall yet. The Ross is supposed to open this month inside there. That's on the first level. I just wanted to cover a couple of more things just like that happened over the weekend here in the here in Vegas. Uh, over at the MGM Grand, it's like we had a stabbing that happened. Uh, there were three people arrested, two women and uh, one man. I guess this man, it's like uh, on Friday morning, I uh, was approached by this woman. They had a conversation. Uh, he agreed to uh, pay for sex. And uh, went up to, uh, I guess it's like her room. They got there. And then a couple of minutes later, another woman entered the room. And then a couple of minutes after that, a guy entered the room. And uh, the woman, the first woman who was the uh, uh, going to perform, it's like the, uh, the duty, I guess. It's like, you know, the thing, it's like... Uh, for the guy, she got ticked and got upset because I guess the other two people came into the room. A uh, big uh, fight, a big argument ensued. And the guy who was the John, it's like that uh, uh, was going to pay for the sex. He was asked to leave by the uh, the woman, it's like uh, who was going to perform the sex. And uh, I guess a scuffle broke out, and they had uh, he ended up getting stabbed in the chest was able to make it uh, downstairs and uh, security called Metro. The three people had been arrested uh, that were in the room. But, uh, and the guy, it's like, you know, things to the serious condition. And that's, uh, that's all I've heard about his condition right there. It's like this insecurity got up to the floor uh, that the room was on. I guess there was blood. It's like in the hallway, blood of the Elevated the outside of the elevator, and uh, I guess there was a couch. It's like you know on the uh, the foyer of the elevator, and it had blood on it. But uh, kind of a bad deal that happened there at the uh, at the MGM Grand this week. Also over at the uh, right off of Sahara and the Las Vegas Strip on the 300 West Sahara block. It's like they had the uh, an incident where a man was shot and killed. Of the 300 West Sahara uh, area over there. Now it's like you know, it's like uh, that area uh, is so so so. I guess it's like a thing, but it's like where the shooting actually took place. It's like was near the uh, Golden Steer Steakhouse, which is one of the premier steakhouses here in Las Vegas. Uh, arguably one of the still one of the top three uh, steakhouses here in Vegas. And it happened right by that area. Uh, the guy was shot and killed. And this was in the, in the afternoon. So it was a, uh, you know, once it's something that happened, it's like, you know, late at night or, or early, early morning. It's like they had happened in the afternoon. So it, uh, anyway, he, uh, he was dead at the scene. And the police are looking for any witnesses that might have known or seen what happened. Now, that shopping center that's over there is kind of a older shopping center, obviously. The Golden Steer's been there for, what, 60 years, give or take. So it's, uh, it's interesting because uh, they may not have had uh, either, either outside cameras for the shopping mall or quality outside cameras at the shopping mall. 
So that's why the police are really looking for any witnesses who may have seen or may have uh, uh, knew what happened. It's like between these, uh, whoever the assailant or assailants were and uh, the guy that was shot and killed. Also, on a more positive note, the uh, Megabucks hit it here in Las Vegas again this weekend at the Cannery, one of the locals' joints here. And this was over in North Las Vegas. Uh, Cannery is owned by the Boyd Group, you know, who owns the California Hotel, Fremont Hotel, Bay Street Station, uh, Gold Coast, uh, Sun Coast, you know, all those types of properties. Uh, but they hit for over $10 million, $10.4 million. A guy uh, who's a local... Uh, put 40 bucks in the machine and uh, hit it. 10.4 million. They asked him, it's like, what he was going to do with the money. And he said the very first thing he was going to do was buy a house for his mother. How cool is that story, huh? All right, everybody. I think that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you joining me this morning. I'm Low Wolf Rick. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, please. It's like, uh, helps us out. Hit the thumbs up button. That really helps us out. Keeps our videos visible in the YouTube universe. All right, everybody. Take care. Stay healthy, okay? Let's have a great week. Bye-bye, everybody.